Now it is that time again to see some more open homes with Josephine Kinsella from Mike Pirro Real Estate. And today you've got some great buys for under 600000 We have. We've got quite a pick today actually. Tell us more. So we're going to head first to Whangarei? Yeah, so the lovely Onirahi. So um, we quite often come to this place and, and this is a gorgeous three bedroom. Could be an investment, could be first time oh, um, nice. home. It's just gorgeous. It, it, uh, around about 424000 um, You know, it's still really convenient to Auckland if you're commuting. Um, but you've got a good lock-up garage, beautiful view. Yeah. It's great. I, I think it's excellent buying and it's three bedrooms, one bathroom, um, you know it's tastefully decorated, there's not a lot to do so move in and enjoy. I like those um, solid weatherboard homes as well. Mm -hmm. This is a really practical um, traditional home and, and a lot of space for um, for the family and um, or even a, a you know a couple or individual that's um, you know just looking for a good investment. Yeah. So Shangarei. Nice work. Okay, continuing the theme under six hundred thousand dollars and you're on the outskirts of Auckland here, Pukekohe. Yeah. So um, at the moment the average um, price for Auckland is recording in the eight hundreds. Mm. So we've picked this um, one at uh, we, we're expecting it to be in excess of four hundred and fifty thousand. Wow. Um, it is going to auction. It's really Those gorgeously. Floors. Yeah. Look at the floors. Stunning. It's in a great location um, in Pukekohe. Four bedrooms. You've got it, um, two uh, garaging, car for two garaging. Um, you've got a great kitchen there. A good size block, which is um, 862 square metres. That's nice. Um, so yeah. So if you're in the market uh, for that 450 plus, um, it's it's probably going to go in the early to mid 500s. I would say. Okay. Oh, and look at that backyard. I know. Perfect. For the Great for a family. cricket pitch. Oh. Uh, let's head to Nelson. <laughs> okay, Nelson. Now, um, this is quite a spectacular um, cottage. So, turn of the century, um, there's a lot of people that talk about this pro property. Um, Rintoni Street is quite spectacular. And we're looking for offers around 379000 You get a four bedroom property. Wow. It's currently tenanted on a fixed term tenancy until September. So, it gives you plenty of time to sort of put your plans of what you want to actually do with it. Or you may actually want to re-tenant it so um, you know at this price it's a centrally located property uh, it's, it's got um, it's been extensively rewired in the 1990s so it's a good return at the moment to um, get you started yeah that's an yeah. incredible price value for money is what you're giving us uh, Josephine thank you okay let's head to the Wellington area now okay Wellington City and as you know Wellington is a hot market at the moment there is a massive shortage of um, really well priced listings this What's is nice? going to be a property that's going to tender um, and uh, the indicative pricing around this is probably expected to be around the mid fives. You have a very functional three bedroom home here great indoor outdoor flow um, very you know conventional living spaces and it's just got a really delightful feel about it yeah I like that architectural tick with the windows kind of almost 70s looking isn't yeah, it yeah yeah no it's really nice and, and still plenty to come and add your own touch so um, good location it's peaceful it's private it's in um, excellent school zoning and in Wellington that's you know certainly a key for investment and the pricing is just spectacular excellent right let's head to Christchurch Christchurch okay we've got Pembroke Street in um, Avondale so um, this is a set sale property and we are looking at a three bedroom property here it is just really very tidy um, you get exactly what you're looking at that's got beautiful um, flow from the living spaces manicured gardens open plan kitchen dining um, room to improve and in a great location we're looking at um, offers around uh, the 350 plus so um, for Christchurch a very exceptional buy I think mm. <laughs> oh, basketball hoop, I've got one of those. A great, a great addition to any house if you've got boys <laughs> yeah, in, isn't it? Yeah. That's incredible, you know, when you, I guess you think of properties and the money that you've got to spend, 350 grand around that price for that seems incredible. Okay, some top tips for buying a house. What have you got for us, Josephine? What so, do we need to be aware of? One of the things that people forget is when you're looking to purchase a house, there's a number of costs that are actually going to start in the process, even when you're looking. So you need to consider costs around valuations, um, your legal expenses, you know, sometimes it may take a few offers to get the actual property that you want so mm -hmm. you've got some costs there. Um, limbs, it's really important to do your due diligence so to um, 
pre-purchase inspection reports with builders, you've got limb reports, um, you've got uh, to search the title, all mm. those sorts of um, things cost money. So just make sure that you've got those um, you know, under hand. You need to know what you're buying. Um, don't rely on just what everyone is saying. You do, because you don't want it to come back and bite you, do you, Absolutely. at a later it's date? It's expensive lesson. Mm. Expensive lesson. Now you also need to be aware of things like home application, home loan application fees, um, whether there's going to be any additional fees with low equity um, borrowing, things like that. Um, you need to make sure that you've got your insurances in order. Every property will require insurance and mortgage protection insurance um, and the moving costs. That's that's crucial. And then you also need to think about once you've p purchased your home, um, you know, what is going to be your annual maintenance budget for that home? Rates. Rates. Things all that like sort that. of thing. Yep. Yep, upgrading the gardens, the concrete, the guttering, whatever needs to be done. So make basically make a checklist with all that information and a little budget so you know exactly where you stand. That would be perfect. Nice. Okay, yeah. well thank you for the tip, Josephine. Yeah, thank you. And you can see any of the properties that you've seen at mikepiro.com. Thank you so much, Josephine. We will see you next week. Yes, we will.